Heavenly Father, I pray for those listening to this that are burned out. They may be burned out from their job, their ministry, financial burdens, emotional stress, and maybe just the daily pressures of life. We come to you right now humbly, God, knowing that you are the one who has divine power to bring us out of dark places. Your word says in 1 Peter 2.9, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. God, we follow your voice now into that marvelous light once again. God, forgive us for the times where we have put others above you. Forgive us for the times where we put other priorities above you. We turn away from these things and go back to you now, understanding that you are a loving father who cares for his children. God, I pray for those of us that are simply tired of what this world has to offer. And I pray that we would see that you have something different to give us. You have an eternal peace and joy that is not found here on earth. God, I pray that you would restore the broken places in our hearts, our bodies, our minds, and our spirit. And I pray for rejuvenation, for a resurrecting power to once again breathe life into us. In Ezekiel 36, it says, And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. God, we earnestly ask for a heart of flesh once again. We ask for a heart that is softened to feel once again. We pray against the bitterness that has plagued us. We confess the envy and the toxic complaining attitude that we have given into. And God, we ask for your forgiveness and choose today to let go of the hurts, the pains, the pressures, and our need for control. God, we surrender it to you now because you are worthy of everything. We worship you in spirit and in truth as we see the goodness that you have to offer. God, open our eyes to the blessings that are constantly in front of us. Open our eyes once again to the joy of our salvation. Remind us that you are with us and that you will never leave us nor forsake us. I pray that we would take the right steps for our healing. I pray that you would surround us with those who love us and want the best for us. I pray that you would give supernatural moments of provision, laughter, rest, and stillness within your presence. Speak to us through our family, our coworkers, our friends, our loved ones, and even strangers to reveal your goodness through others once again. I thank you in advance that this is not the end of our story, that there is still more hope, more joy to be experienced. And I thank you that this burnout has an expiration date and that we are moving towards a life to the full once again. We acknowledge this season of hardship, but we also thank you in advance for strengthening, the strengthening that it will eventually bring. We hold on to the truth that your word says in Romans 8.28, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. So God, we worship you as we believe this in our hearts. And we thank you that we can connect with you through prayer. We give you all the glory and honor and power in Jesus' mighty name.